Hello and welcome. We have a worldwide known game known as chess with us today. I will go over how to set up the board, how each piece moves with examples and a quick demonstration game. So how to set up the board. First, the board must be aligned so that your left corner is a black space and your right corner is a white space. Now for the pieces. In those corners, you place the castle shaped pieces. These pieces are called rooks. Rooks can move up and down or side to side as far as they want, as long as there's no other piece in their path. Moving inward from the two corners and still on the black edge of the board, you have the horse shaped pieces. These pieces are called knights. Knights move differently than all the other pieces. They move two spaces in one direction and then one space in a different direction, giving them up to eight different moves to make. Continuing to move inwards on the back row, we have the taller pieces with a slit cut out on the side of them. These pieces are called bishops. Bishops, similar to the rook, can move as far as they want if there is no other piece in their path, but they go diagonally instead. One bishop is on the black space and will always be on black spaces and the other bishop is on a white space and will always be on a white space. In the last two spaces on the back row there is the king and the queen. They are the tallest pieces and the king is taller with a cross on the top. The queen is always on her same color so if you are playing on white then the queen is on the white space and the king is on the black. The queen moves also as far as she wants to if there is no other piece in the way, but she can move the same as the rook and as the bishop. The king can move in all directions as well, but can only move one space at a time. In the next row, there are eight pawns filling up that row. Pawns movements are a little different. If a pawn hasn't moved yet in the game, then it can move either one or two spaces forward. If it has already moved, then one move forward is all they can do. They cannot move side to side. If there is a piece in a space forward and diagonal from them, then they can move diagonally to take that piece. Also, if you move upon two spaces and only on your opponent's following turn, they could have taken out your pawn, they can do it still. White always goes first. When taking a piece, you replace their spot. You don't have to take a piece if you don't want to especially if taking that piece makes it or another piece vulnerable that you don't want to lose like a queen. If you place pieces in a way that you are able to take out the king in your next turn, you say that your opponent is in check. They have to either move their king out of check or move a piece into the way or attack your attacking piece. If that is not possible, then you have successfully won the game and say checkmate. You cannot move a piece if it puts you into check. There is a situation where a player cannot make any move legally, but not in check. This is called a stalemate and it is considered a draw, so no one wins or loses. One more instance where the king has a special move, this move is called castling. Castling can be only performed if there is no other pieces in the way and neither the king or the rook has moved yet. To castle, the king moves two spaces towards the rook, and the rook moves to the other side of the king. That is all the rules of the game of chess. Let's play a quick game.
Well, that was fun. Come back next time to see what game I do next.